Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am going to show you Tokyo vegetable market. So this is the vegetable market in my area, in Nishikasai or uh, Ojima area. Now first I give you a look of uh, the whole street. See the cleanliness and the people walking around to buy vegetable. So see the cleanliness, always clean any point of time you come, it's always clean. There are only four shops here. And these shops uh, sell vegetables and fruits and people every day around uh, 10 o'clock to 2 or 3 o'clock they come here and they buy vegetables. The restaurant people and the you know people like us who come here to buy vegetables and fruits. So you can see the cleanliness first. Look at this uh, street and this is like you know a vegetable market with a very elegant and sophisticated way of selling vegetables so you can see the cleanliness here so that's important japanese people basically like uh, fresh fruits and vegetables so they buy you know in small quantity but people like us who always buy in bulk because we have to we cannot come every day here so this is our priority to buy as much as possible in one go because we basically buy for a week. The whole week vegetable supply should be there at home. Okay, so this is the street. You can see people walking and uh, uh, buying vegetables and bicycles and all these things. Even if you find a car here, the car can get stuck in the, tr in the, the crowd, but no horn. Horn, blowing horn is absolutely not possible here. It's, it's a very impolite and rude behavior. So you can see this is the cousin of uh, uh, cabbage that is for 180 yen 100 yen equals to 70 rupees so you can say that it is around 130 140 rupees these are the salad leaves and that is for uh, 70 rupees the cabbage here you can see the cabbage this is around a kg of cabbage that is for around 150 rupees and uh, potato and uh, onion come in this way in the packet of a kilogram that is for around 100 rupees for uh, a kilo of uh, potato and same is 138 that means around uh, uh, same 100 rupees around for uh, kg of onion and uh, this side you can see the, in the in the plastic sack that is the onion 10 kg onion or 5 kg onion this is potato potato is sold here in bulk in the cartons not like uh, our country so this is for around uh, 1000 rupees for 10 kg and this is quite cheap 5 kg onion is for uh, um, you can say um, 200 rupees garlic it is for around 140 rupees a kg you can see the quality of garlic very clean very very big one and this is the onion which i buy always when i come here buy you know in a sack so i think it's 10 kg yeah it's 10 kg a 10 kg onion for uh, 140 no not 140 250 or something mm, uh, conversion is a problem you know but anyway uh, banana you can see banana and other things the the spring onion leek you see the grapes uh, are sold here for around uh, you can say 280 rupees banana is for 70 rupees five six banana this is how they pack banana this is how they pack so it's clean always i buy one or two pack packets of banana every time uh, for my family and you, this is one shop which i'm entering one now you can see the uh, vegetables like lemon is there lemon is for around uh, 100 rupees for four 100 rupees for four <laughs> So this is the condition and quite expensive, very, very expensive. These are the shelves where you find uh, dhania patti and all these things. Uh, it's 98 yen means uh, 70 rupees. This is 250 gram of green chili. That is for uh, uh, 298, 300, 200 rupees, around 200 rupees plus tax. So maybe around 210. Everything you have to pay tax, 8% tax on food, everything. You can see this is Sita Fal, that is for around 200 rupees, 1 kg or something. And uh, you see the, uh, the lemon, lemon is for uh, 100 rupees plus with tax, uh, 4 or 5 lemon will be there. If it is very cheap, we will buy 6 or 7, otherwise 4, uh, 
for uh, 100 rupees so it's very expensive you see the bitter guard karela that is for around uh, 130 rupees or 140 rupees with tax one karela one karela is for 140 rupees understand how expensive tokyo food is you know uh, so and this is the counter where we come with the basket or this one and they uh, count everything is uh, computerized machine so the view put there they uh, scan the barcode or they write over there they they insert the the money bill in that one and uh, change automatically comes out so this is how they work highly mechanized very advanced system you will find here <clears throat> please subscribe the channel to show more and uh, you will find lot many videos uh, on YouTube about Tokyo. So this is my packet. I bought 10 kg of uh, potato, 10 kg of onion, uh, you know, and we ride bicycles. So life is not very smooth and very easy here, but it's okay. We love it. And uh, you see the apples. Apple is for around 398 yen. 398 yen means 400 rupees, uh, 400 yen, 400 means 280 rupees. Uh, 398 yeah plus tax plus tax you have to give everything tax tax you have to pay at any cost you cannot cannot avoid it okay so machine is there they scan the barcode and they feed it automatically with tax you have to pay and the uh, the amount you know which you are what you have to pay that comes out so you see the people walking this is uh, another vegetable shop that is for wholesale you can say some khudra um, is also there that means you know the loose you can see the uh, the onion and the other things are there but mostly and everything is packed in carton not like on the on the floor on a on a, on a sack or something or a chatai you are doing no everything is packed everything is packed in carton you can see the brinjal then capsicum so brinjal is 5 kg brinjal is around uh, 560 or you can say 700 these are the, the tomatoes tomatoes are damn expensive tomatoes my god uh, tomato price will be for this is for around 3 or 4 kg that will be and then radish, you can see this is 980, that means around 700 rupees for 4 or 5. Uh, broccoli, one broccoli is for 100 rupees plus. Uh, so I will not say the taxes, you can add 10, 10 15 rupees extra for taxes. <clears throat> this is uh, Bhua Park and all these things. You see the red onion is there, red, red onion, 3 onion is for 100 rupees, uh, 140 rupees. 3 onion, uh, 140 rupees. You can stand how expensive it is. And everything, if mostly here come uh, the restaurant people, those who run restaurants, so you can see how much this man is buying because he might be having a Japanese restaurant. So this is how it works. Japan, Japan, Japan. People love to come to Japan, but it's so expensive. My God, when we compare with food items in India, we find that, my God, India is so cheap. And this is Brinjal, a packet of, I think, a kg or something for around 180 rupees. Then carrot. Carrots are there for 100 rupees and everything the price is written and sometimes with tax or without tax. So you can see this much onion is for 100 rupees. So those who want to buy, let's say, lose an onion of kg or something, they buy. Otherwise, mostly I buy in sack for 5 kg, 10 kg, sometimes 20 kg also in winter. This is French bean. French bean, I don't know the price. Yeah, that is for uh, around 1500 rupees. Uh, 1500 rupees for, I think, 2 kg or 3 kg. Uh, French bean and you can see again the streets are always clean any point of time you come you will find this cleanliness it's not that the morning time or afternoon time they clean they, they do not need to clean basically this is a Chinese shop here you find the things from China so I come here to buy sometimes chicken and uh, the frozen uh, chilies and some spices we find you can see the red chilies available here this is red chili that is for around uh, 400 50 rupees for a uh, half kg uh, chili yeah you can see i have to buy one because we can't survive without chili so this is the condition and whenever i come here i am fully loaded uh, sometimes vegetable like uh, potato and onion and some other green vegetables you can see the groundnut here down uh, groundnut one kg groundnut is there you can see makkah is there the corn Everything is available here, but very expensive. These are the Chinese uh, pickles and the spices kept in uh, freezer, deep freezer. And uh, uh, some lot many things you are there available, but uh, of course very expensive. 
So you can see the watermelon, watermelon, I show you the price, watermelon, you remember the price in India, right? Now you see the watermelon price, maybe let me check, let me check the price, uh, I didn't find it, but maybe around 1000 rupees or something for one, one watermelon because uh, it's, we cannot afford, you know, we people feel that, oh my God, it's so expensive. And see the banana, this is the counter here, the machine is there, so she is tapping everything, the price, and automatically the, the, the whole your bill will come out and uh, uh, she will give you the receipt with tax and she will uh, put the bills in the machine and change will come out like that. And now these days to curb the plastic to ban and all these things, uh, to, to curb the, the use of plastic, they, they charge for plastic bags also. So mostly people, people bring their own bags because why to pay two? 200, 2, 2 and 3 and extra unnecessarily. So this is, uh, you can see banana, then uh, oranges, then apple. This is a fruit shop. And this is a community service here. Basically, this lady I see sometimes in the vegetable shop, the other shop, sometimes here in fruit shop. So I think they have a, a kind of, you know, arrangement that who will work where today. So this is how it goes on. <clears throat> yeah, they give plastics for some of the, these are the beef thing. Uh, sold in Chinese shop. This is another Chinese shop. So basically, this area is dominated by Chinese. So, uh, Chinese material, Chinese food is available here. You can see the fish. Fish is quite expensive. My God, you say Japan, you know, people eat fish. Of course, they eat fish. But, very expensive. One fish, a kg of fish, you will find sometimes around, uh, let me check the price, let me check the price, maybe around uh, uh, thousand rupees or something for a kg. Uh, sometimes I get cheaper uh, fish also, then I buy one or two and I uh, put in my fridge because I um, cannot buy every day and every day you don't find cheap things. Crabs are there, then you can see the groundnut and the beef thing, uh, deep freezer, then you can see red chili powder is there, then black pepper is there, then seaweeds are there. Okay, these are the pumpkins, the Halloween pumpkins. This is for 98 and this is a cheaper one. So I bought one because that is for 100 rupees. So I bought one because uh, I love it because my wife cooks very nice, this one. So whatever is a heavy one, just <laughs> check it. But you will find that almost every pumpkin is of same weight. So that's okay. And uh, yeah, so this is the condition you see. Uh, pineapple is there, then banana and everything kept in another. See, this is 98 in again, but more banana is there. In one shop, so you be by like this. So this is how they sell banana and uh, fruits. Uh, you can see the watermelon is there. Let me check the price. Yeah, 1580. 1580 means around 1000 plus. One watermelon for 1000 rupees. Oh my God. Oh, what to do? Sometimes my son, you know, ask me for watermelon. Whenever I come here, I buy a half or maybe one, but uh, it's very expensive. I don't want to buy this what to do with children or children so we have to buy some time uh, yeah this is the same shop in the other day and uh, you have to stand in a, in a line every time it's not that jaldi de do bhaiya mere ko jana hai emergency hai bacche wait kar rahe no it's not like that you have to stand in a queue wait for your turn when your turn comes you can take it so this is the other day you see i'm going out now from the vegetable shop and see the cleanliness, the, the neighborhood area. If you come by car, you have to be there. If somebody should be there in the car, you can't park your car and you go because the parking man will come and they will charge you, you know, the chalan will be issued on your car's number and you have to pay. You cannot avoid it. You cannot avoid it. So this is how it goes on. I'm now going for my, uh, going to my house. That is around a kilometer from here. We have to buy a uh, ride a bicycle only. This is, a, this is the park, a community park. Every community or neighborhood has so many parks and well maintained. Every I will make another video on that. Uh, what facilities you find in a car uh, in a park? And you can see this is a train track here. This train track is for the local people. So this is four tracks are there. You can see the top is also a train track. This is also a train track for the local people. Yeah, you can see this way. See the cleanliness again. No, no litter, no plastic, nothing is there. Everything is clean. This is a tunnel and overhead you have the, uh, the train tracks, four train tracks are there. One goes to Narita uh, uh, airport and other for the local community and uh, local commuters. 
and this is how it works so it's very very you can say um, sophisticated market this is how tokyo works this is how tokyo works you can see i bought some cabbage and all these things on the second day other day and i'm just uh, going to my house so again these are the narrow streets since tokyo is highly congested these are the green tracks for the bicycles you know you just ride on the green tracks so bicycle riding is very popular here and government has made arrangements for them to ride bicycles you know and they have separate uh, tracks for them so that is the red area you can see is for the cars and this one is the this side of the left side of the barricade is for uh, bicycles and uh, now you can see the area so today is uh, basically sunday and uh, uh, you can see the trucks and other things moving here oh uh, yeah so this is the condition please subscribe my channel and promote my channel share the video if you like it especially the gardening people this community this uh, group the gardening group uh, this video was basically made for you so you can understand that how the difference is between the vegetable and the fruits prices in india and in japan <clears throat> thank you very much please subscribe so again i'm requesting you thank you very